Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anastasia. I'm your go-to holistic health and fitness expert. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, do one thing right now. Subscribe to the channel. You see the pop-up on the on this video. Subscribe and stay updated with every piece of content that I'm uploading every single day, twice a day for you to improve your life, to improve your habits, to improve your lifestyle and to live the best life, to have the best possible body that you can sculpt because you are the one who's sculpting your body on a regular basis. Every single day, the choices you do, it's your future, it's your health, it's your body shape, it's your digestion, it's how you look, it's how you interpret yourself inside and out again with the digestion with the cleansing system it's everything reflects so today's subject is very very interesting and i know why you click on this title i know why you click on this video because you are not patient you wanna fast results well we can have fast results and as i promised in the video title that you can lose up to five kilograms in only one week in seven days no matter what is your position i mean obviously if you are already healthy and if you are working out and you are following certain food plan and you are in a healthy shape so you don't need to lose any weight but plus minus where you are in your life and you have desire and you eager to lose this weight and five kilo would be great for you to begin or even maybe five kilo it's exactly what you need for your desired uh, weight or desired by body constitution so how to lose this fat how to lose this extra kilos in only seven days number one you give your body and your system detox what does it mean detox again it's very hyped word nowadays it's basically means that you give your system rest you give your system rest for seven days and you exclude fried food you exclude junk food you exclude extra sweet stuff you exclude carbs you exclude all that is bad for you for your liver for your digestion and that stuff you to clean your system faster so for example first thing what we need to do we start to we are stopping and saying no to a fried food we are saying no to sweets all kinds of sweets either it's cake cupcake uh, chocolate bar bounty sneakers mars uh, what else you would like to have some brownie um, ice cream baskin robins anything say no for seven days because you want you want to lose five kilo i didn't say that it would be ma magic pill it is consistent habits and it's a challenge for one week to try something new and to see how you feel with this new habits okay so you catch me no fried food items no sweets then you exclude all soft drinks sorry to say this but yes you should say goodbye to all your soda sprite coke pepsi you need to forget about them for the seven days and if you feel thirsty or if you feel like having some coke you just grab a glass of water sip it and it tastes amazing you can put inside even to boost your metabolism and help your system within this challenge to cleanse you could put inside turmeric, you can put inside cinnamon, you can put inside clove, ginger, boil all together, cool down and drink. Make it in your bottle while you are at work or you're traveling or if you're at home, just keep it in this uh, glass jar at house and keep drinking. So what about alcohol as well? You need to cut down alcohol for the seven days and hydrate yourself properly upon your needs and your body needs with a clean water. Is it with a clean water? Or I mean even these toppings that I just mentioned to you a few minutes back, like uh, turmeric, clove, cinnamon, honey, lemon, mint, cucumber, it's all great toppings to have and it's also count as a clean water so you drink this to hydrate your system because for example 
A lot of us living in a certain megapolises, in a big cities, small cities, medium cities, we have certain lifestyle where we used to do certain things, where we used to go to a certain occasion. And even if this week you have an invitation to a birthday, to wedding, you still stay committed to your challenge. Because if you decide that you go for a challenge and then something show up during these seven days and you say like, okay, I will execute this day and then again I start. No, you regain integrity within yourself. If you stay committed for seven days, afterwards it will be better for you. Why did I mention afterwards? Because you would love the results. You would love how you feel how your body feels and how changes happen on your body that you will keep going with these habits. So no fried foods, no sweets, no carbohydrate drinks like Coke, Fanta, Sprite, no alcohol, as well as no smoking. But if you are smoking, I mean, you cannot quit for one week, but if you want to quit, feel free to DM me. I will tell you how to quit. I will take and offer on me and offer you my coaching on how to quit bad habits and transform your life from where you are right now to where you wanna be. Or maybe you don't even think that you wanna be in this position. You are very happy where you are right now, but you need to think more bigger what would happen in 10, 15, 20 years if you keep doing what you do, all right? So the next thing is that we need to exclude all kind of sauces which was going with your junk food. So if you wanna cheat somewhere in between and even you will have salad or even if you make like some boiled potato and you would like to put the sweet chili sauce or some ginger sauce and something or something, forget about processed food for a week. Don't use all of these sauces, don't use. Olive oil is a great thing. There is a couple of spices which you can mix together and will give your food an amazing taste. Salt, pepper, uh, some Indian spices, some Mediterranean spices. You can mix them all together, put a flavor to your food and keep it as it is. Eat it as it is. Because we eat so much of processed food, so much of sugary, so much of salty food that our flavors, our taste, it's gone so far, so far from what we really like then when we have some really plain food without any dressing or any sauce, we feel it's not tasty and we don't want to eat. No, it's not because it's not tasty. It's because it's have a lack of all those artificial ingredients that we, our system used to have on a regular basis. So another thing that you need to say, no to the old sauces. And what else? I would recommend also to not eat uh, three, four hours before you go to bed. So your digestion can rest enough. And then in the morning when you wake up, first thing you can clean your colon properly and have your breakfast if you're hungry. If you're not hungry, do not eat. If you have like, for example, it might happen, it's crazy, I know, salty, sweet, processed food, it will make you kind of experiencing if you really stay with me for seven days and you keep up with the challenge it would make you feel like a rush like a addiction rush you would feel like you cannot stand you you need to have the cupcake you need to have a chocolate bar your sugar goes up or something else or you're too nervous there was too much stress you fight with someone at work or at family you need to have those glass of wine you need to smoke a couple of cigarettes more no this is all your mind game. Just keep doing what you do. Decide and agree with yourself that, okay, today is this, uh, today, for example, it's Tuesday. I decide and I commit for seven days to take this challenge, lose this extra fat, lose this extra kilos, five kilos, up to five. Maybe even you, you might lose a little uh, more, maybe a little less. It depends on your current constitution, where you are right now, how sincere you will stay with my recommendation as well. So to not blame that all oh, the one week pass, I lose only one kilo. It depends also how you accommodate to this. So for more deeper understanding, always feel free to DM me on the messages. Down below, I have a link to my Instagram, Facebook, I have my email ID, send me an email and you have also opportunity to book one-on-one -on -one consultation call where I will express to you my teaching, my holistic approach of how to change lifestyle, how to change habits in the name of healthy habits. 
but it doesn't mean that you need to be like a freak vegan and you don't need to eat anything and you just eat organic. No, holistic approach recommends and stand for natural living, for realistic living, all right? That means that you eat your whole food, the real food, no process, no junk, and you are active human being, you are doing your exercise, workouts, mindset, mindfulness, emotional balance in the name of number one, longevity, number two, anti-aging, number three, stress, um, stress barrier, so you are, uh, you are having a high barrier against stress and you are a mindful person and of course you are healthy, in a healthy shape, in a healthy body, healthy spirit. So this is the five aspects stand for holistic approach. If you feel that you are actually healthy, no problem. Keep it, keep going and follow your lifestyle. But if you have a feeling that you would like to change something in your life, if you like to become better, if you feel like, you know, the health is kind of like so and so, I might be a bit better. Or if you are really honest with yourself and you are someone that you see there is a lot of things to be done and you need some help and support and you don't know from where to start. If it resonates with you, drop me a message, drop a comment down below. I am happily offering my assistance, my coaching, my support to transform life like yours and to become the better human, to become the best version of yourself. To be because there is so much potential inside you and you are living in this situation where you feel it's just this and it's not about the body weight it's not about the body physique it's about this relationship how you look towards yourself how you feel inside your own body and also like it's a bit of self-love but still your capability within the health it reflects also the entire life on how you look at the things at work at business finances money relationship mindfulness uh, your choices, what you do for fun, for relax, etc. So, if you need my support, if you would like to inquire or know more before deciding if you need, I offer absolutely for free consultation call. We can meet via Zoom. I can see you. You can see me. We meet. You share with me your background story, and I will provide you my experience how to deal and how to transform life. And if you need my help, I take you on a mentorship, on my coaching three to six months and transform your life and you will be your best version. Got it? So do try yourself seven day challenge and you will see that all this extra weight that was collected on your body due to stress, due to eating disorders, due to emotional eating, due to destruction all the time in your life you will see that when you choose the food consciously more and when you exclude this all items that are listed for you you will see results you will see results in the mirror you will see results on your body and you will see even within your mindset and clarity of your mind how you reflect on yourself and on your life afterwards and hope you will keep up the habits onwards even after seven days it's finished see you in the next video